Hello and welcome everyone to Strangeland. I'm super excited to play this game and share it with all of you. Um, I love these types of games. I love point and click adventures. I love uh, these games from Budget Eye, the, the publisher. And this is the newest one, Strangeland, um, from Wormwood Studios, the developers of Primordia, a game I haven't played yet, but that is definitely on my list. But I've seen that this game was about to come out and I wanted to check it out. And I expect a pretty crazy story. I expect some really really good voice acting i expect some cool characters just the usual with these games and i hope that you guys enjoy it just as much as i do and i don't want to waste too much time i don't i want to play the game i'm very excited to play the game and so we will jump pretty much right and let me know in the comments below if you are playing the game as well if you have played primordia before or any of the other budget eye games that are kind of falling into the same genre would love to hear your thoughts on them and which ones you enjoyed and maybe what's your, what what is your favorite budget eye game that that would be great to know in the comments below but now without any further ado let's jump right in and play some strangeland Really love the art style of these games. I don't want to tell you a joke. I don't want to tell you anything at all. But you know the problem with me? I never could keep my big mouth shut. <laughs> Well, that's inviting. Not very inviting. Okay, and examine with this. Looks like they really want me to go in. Looks like they really want me to go in. Let's look around. Not very inviting. Nope. What do we have here? It's an ad for Nepenthe. It reads, Quaff, oh quaff. This fine Nepenthe. Win a bottle today at the shooting gallery. It says not all attractions are suitable to all ages. Visitors are encouraged to exercise judgment. Pretty vague as warnings go. Yeah, but... And also something that I would have never guessed looking at this giant creepy clown door. That this might not be appropriate for all ages. Um... Looks like they really want me to go in. Okay, so they do the same. So I guess I have a different... Okay, I see. So when it turns purple, I probably can interact with it with my left click. Other than that, it's examining. Well, I don't think we can go back, so... Here we go. Oh, did, did you hear the... the sound the tongue <laughs> wait goodbye my love hey. she's gone not gone querent really dead again and again she comes to this well to weep and leap at the sound of the shriek. Which of you will save the other? Okay. I have no clue what's going on, so that lady just jumped in the well? It's a payphone. A large crow. Thank raven. you. Oh. Excuse me. A raven. I guess. <laughs> uh, hello? Sticks and stones will make me groan, but words will never move me. 
guess that's close enough. Sticks and stones will make me groan. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it before. <laughs> oh, I like it. I, uh, I like when they react to it like that. Oh. Listen, the thing you have to understand is this is all your fault. You miss all the obvious signs. You let everything slip through your fingers. And you're uh, no good at fixing things. That's why okay. she's dead. That's why you're here. Right. Anyway, I'll call again later. But if you need help, and you will need help, please hang up and press zero to dial your operator. Wait. He sounded just like me. Okay, that that's ominous, so it's supposed to be all our fault. Anything it's a here? payphone. Let's try that. Maybe We're sorry. We are unable to complete your call as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. Or call your operator to help you. Okay, maybe... 911. Oh. 911, please state the nature of your emergency. Uh, a woman. I think she's killed herself. Can you identify the victim? I... Uh, I... Sir, who is That's she? That's cool. I, I didn't don't expect know. that. Well, where are you, sir? It's, uh... It's hard to say. Sir, we can't help you if you can't tell us what's going on. Okay. Interesting. I don't really have another number, but... That, that's interesting. Tell me your telephone number in the comments below. There's something <laughs> moving down there. <laughs> and a hint of golden light. Hint of golden light. It's a long way down, but I could give it a shot. Probably not a good idea. It's a coin-operated fortune teller called Murmur the Magnificent. I need to put in a quarter. I don't have a quarter. I don't think I've... I don't have an inventory yet. Big. Oh, there we go. What does this mean? That... What's this? Can I... Because I don't have anything in my inventory. Murmur. Anything else? I need to put in a quarter. Let's leave. Ooh. Nine, ten. I guess some attractions are always out of reach. Guess so. It's too far off. I guess some attract. All right. Pick either direction, but definitely go left, I guess. <laughs> okay. Pick either direction. Oh, now we have different exits. Well, obviously, if it tells me to go left, I have to go right first. Who? Who's there? Did you scare off those nice doves? Come closer. Let me hear you. Hmm. I have a feeling those are not Seashore. doves. A raven. Sticks and stones will make me groan. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it before. Okay, so this raven says the same thing. It's a you. Ahem. <clears throat> it is the you. The you? Excuse me. It's an empty birdbath. It had water once, but the deeper he drinks, the dimmer grows the mind of many a man. An empty birdbath. Abstraction. And it's not much of a tree for climbing. What's this? A noose? A noose? I wonder how it got there. You were the one who tied it there. Tried hanging yourself. 
Did oh. it make you any wiser? I'm not sure. I don't remember. That's why I write things down, you know. So as not to remember. Don't you mean to forget? Yes, I do mean to forget. Now the news is swinging. I can't quite reach it. Childhood. Look at the papers. He's just writing down whatever the Raven says. Oh, yes, indeed. I don't need his notes. More papers. There's nothing on them but nonsense. They're just nonsense. Recurrence. Hey, let's... His eyes. They're gone. Oh, but Jesus. my ears are just fine, stranger. Okay. It was already bizarre. I love it. Bannies. Oh. Okay, so this is our conversation menu. Ask about him. Who are you? I'm afraid I don't rightly know. I'm just an old fool who can hardly remember what he's read, much less who he is. I do recall a book that said, each is his own judge. That might just have to do. The woman. Let's ask about the woman. There was a golden-haired woman who threw herself down a well. <sighs> no sickness is worse to one who is wise than to lack the longed-for love. What happened to your eyes? What happened to your eyes? I fed them to a raven. He said it would bring me wisdom. That's... that's a theory. What about your writing? What are you writing? The same things I've written a thousand times before. After all, an act can lose meaning if you do it often enough. Okay, now something changed here. What about the doves? Did you mention doves? Yes. I feed them as they flutter by. I find it soothes my mind. Are they here? It's a crow. Do you mean that crow? Raven. No, I mean the doves. It was the raven who told me of them. Are they here? I don't think so. No. Ah. What about that bird bath? Why is that bird bath empty? Once it was filled with fresh well water, as cool and clear as a sound mind, but doves and ravens would much rather bathe in dust. Maybe they can't abide their reflections either. And now it changed this again. I don't know what that means. Like what that indicates. Tell me about this place. Where are we? I wish I could tell you. The man who stands at a strange threshold should be cautious before he crosses it. I read that once, I think. Okay, so that disappeared now. So certain things disappear. Can you tell me more about Murmur? Can you tell me anything about Murmur the Magnificent? Wise and weighty be the word of his mouth, and his head was too good to bury. Whatever that means. I'd say I can't make heads or tails of it, but then I'm not much one for puns. What? Okay. I don't like this guy anymore, but I wonder if Murmur is a reference to the Norse mythology M Mimir. Could see that connected. So these are still here. Can I ask them again? Can't you just tell me who you are? Oh, maybe Sell that indicates that there is who more are silent. Make mistakes. So I think I'd best hold my tongue. Did it work? Are you wiser? Oh yes, indeed. I learned that to be blind is better than to burn on a pyre, and that it is easier to be rid of your eyes than the vision. That offended you. 
I mean, I believe you that being blind is better than burning on a pyre, but... Like, you don't have to be blind in order to not burn on a pyre, most of the time. Can you at least tell me your name? Well, I remember the name Fimble Famby, but whether it's mine, or yours, or both of ours, I can't quite say. Okay, so I can just use these conversation points until they disappear. And I just now noticed that it looks like we're wearing, it almost looks like a straight jacket, right? That's interesting. But who was she? Who are we to rob each other of our forgetfulness? After all, it's written somewhere that the learned man whose lore is deep is seldom happy at heart. So what about those doves? About the doves. Are they here? Let's try yes. Sure they're here. Ah, then let me find a crust of bread. Oh. A scrap of meat. I'd rather think of it as bread for the doves. Why? Oh. Can I now feed it to the raven? Thanks. Oh. Welcome. It seems to be ignoring me. They're just wasteless. Oh, raven. Thimble Fumbi. So, could I have some more meat? I mean, bread? For the doves. Hmm. Okay, so it gives me more. And I, I just picked it up. I thought I may be able to put it there. Okay, but I guess good to have the... I have nothing to say to him. The meat bread. The bread Nets. meat. It's not much of a tree for climbing. Looks like that's it here. Oh. Oh, what's happening? Cytotoxic. Uh, Okay, that usually is not a good sign. Oh, there's a hole. Didn't see that before. The hole's just big enough to reach through. A dead rat. Nice. Got it. Sure is heavier than it looked. A dead rat. It's an eye in something horrible. It's a good 30 feet out of reach. I'll need to get into the tent first. Okay, so I've got the dead rat. It's much too far away. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Well, let's go to the left. Step right up, step right up! Win yourself a bottle of the Penthe! Well, the second mention of the Penthe. Control I guess box. it has something to do with the shooting gallery. I think there's some kind of circuitry behind this plate. There's mm -hmm. no latch, and the edges are too tight for me to pull it off with just my fingers. Guys, I probably I need something. I think there's some kind of circuitry behind this cover. Okay. Shooting game. I imagine I need to use the gun. It's some kind of shooting game. The loudspeaker said I could win a bottle of Nepenthe. Let's try it. Ten hits get you one hit. And one hit's all it takes to bring blessed sleep. Oh, I see. There we go. Oh, so close. Try I guess I need to be again. faster. I need to be much or faster. They need to be slower or something. Step right up. Step so maybe right I can um, influence the the speed with the control box. 
It's locked. It's locked. Okay. Hidden game. Um. I think alts here, it seems. It's too far off. Can I go here? It seems like I can go into the tent yet. Can what happens? There's something moving down there, and a hint of golden light. What if I? Throw no sense there? throwing that away. Rat? No sense throwing that away. I give you a rat. Nah, I smell a rat. Okay. I mean, you're not wrong. But murmur. I need to put in a quarter. I don't have a quarter, though. Oh, is this a different exit? It is a different exit. Call 431. Let me write that down. We will definitely do that. 431. It's been torn off after the first three digits. Oh. I already have her picture in my mind. Don't have the full number. Oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, I get the message. Hmm. Interesting. Welcome to the mysteries of the deep. Home of the luminous stream maid. The vitriolic sea star. And the oleaginous black swan. It's a big switch in the on position. Looks like it's electrified. If it looks like it. I'm doing anything there. Can I like throw the that rat on the? That's not going to work. But maybe throwing it against it to activate it. That's not going to work. Maybe short circuit it. That's not going to work. Even cooked, it would be unappetizing. Okay. Okay. Doesn't seem like I can do anything here. Oh. I might just. Did I just die? Oh. Oh. What oh. happened? There are rocks. A rock? That's good. I've got plenty. Strange land. A bit on the nose. Okay. So we, so we died, I think. Not this again. Sorry. Here's one for you. Man sitting in his doctor's office. Doc says, and now here's the good news. Man says, Doc, you didn't even tell me the bad news. Doc says, not this again. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I think else here. Are it says not all attractions are suit. Visitor is pretty vague. Yeah, we have that. Mouth. Hmm. Okay. We're back. Is there an exit to this side? There is. So let's check out this side. What is that? Where am I? Yeah. A huge furnace. 
with 83 painted on it. That's that is my thing. name, 83. Oh. Well, let's look around before we talk to 83. It's venting steam. Just steam. I need to put something on it first. What about a dead rat? Not much you can make out of a rat. The it's meat? not a cutting board. A rock? I don't think 8-3 works in stone. Okay. It's just waiting for something. Whoever know. built this place certainly doesn't trust me to find my own way. Seems like there's an exit further to that side. Some kind of tracks leading to the top of the park. Tell me about you. What are you? I am the fire that burns the impure. Okay. What about that anvil? What's that anvil for? Like the bear that licks its cub into shape with a tongue of fire, I forge from ore upon the anvil whatever thing I wish. Can you make me something? Can you make something for me? I can make anything. Bring me a work order, and lay your medal upon the anvil. Okay. I really need you to make me something. You can bring me an order, or you can burn. There was a golden-haired woman who threw herself down a well. The bellows gasped on the day she was made. But who was she? Yeah. A flawed thing that fire could not save. I guess there's nothing- Make me something! I will make you ash! Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, we died again. Hey. I've got plenty. So you want me? Crow we need to work. Along. She's a crab eating some lady. Crow squawks. What are you doing? She's not even dead yet. Crab scuttles off. Next day, Crow's flying along, sees the crabs at it again. I thought I told you to scram, he says. Crab says, take another look. Crow looks at the lady and just says, Carry on! Get it? <laughs> Got it. Carry on. Yep. Great, great, great joke. Great joke. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well. So let's not get roasted by A3 again. We need a work order and some iron. We can make us something. It's a spinning rocket ride. Only not spinning or rocketing. And you can't ride it. It's not operational. Telescope. It's a telescope. It doesn't even require a quarter. That's good. Have a look. What the? Ah! That's it. That shadow. That's what's making that sound. That's what's killing her. I have to destroy it. Oh. Okay. That's what's killing her. What an idiot grin. This is all very- Oh! Doesn't like that? I guess dead rat's not its thing. Okay. What about some meat? Good boy. I'd rather hold on to it. You don't want to run? 
Oh. He doesn't like rocks. <laughs> doesn't like rocks being thrown at him, but now we have that metal spike. Maybe that is something that we can use with the Talk animal. Talk about the dog that bit you. Um, but I think this is a good, good place to take our first break uh, from the game. We will continue with Strange Land. Tomorrow I plan on um, releasing as many episodes as soon as possible. I really want to play this game and share it with all of you. Would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. It seems like the perfect game to have some discussions about what is actually going on. Obviously, if you know more than I do, no spoilers uh, in the comments, but I would love to have a little discussion in the comments and see what you think about it, and uh, maybe we can figure this whole strange land of strange land out together. If you enjoyed the episode, please give the video a like, maybe consider subscribing to the channel, share the video with friends, family, and the people on the internet. That all helps me out a whole bunch and will bring you more content in the future. If you want to go above and beyond in your support, you can check out the Patreon link down below, and I will be back with Strangeland very soon. Until then, have a great time.